talking about uh, the Make in India initiative. Make for the world, said Prime Minister Modi from the ramparts of the Red Fort in the national capital in his Independence Day speech to the nation. Prime Minister Modi highlighted the importance to make India self-reliant, saying it was not just a word but should be a mantra for the people. The Prime Minister also reiterated the earlier pitch, vocal for local, a call and said that India should strive for meeting needs of the entire world. Not just that, the Prime Minister in his vision also said that this is an opportunity we must take to make sure that we lead the world in terms of new, creating new opportunities and technology. Also want the expansionist forces and said that India has secured its borders from LOC to LAC from any transgression on the Indian soil. Prime Minister further said that every citizen will be provided with a health ID and the medical records such as tests, diagnosis, treatments will be digitized saved as a database that can be accessed from anywhere in the country, talking about a national medical card. With all eyes on an antidote to COVID-19, Prime Minister said that uh, the three probable vaccine candidates were at different stages of clinical trial and the entire roadmap of its production and delivery were ready. Listen in to what PM had to say. Atmanirbhar Bharat ye ek prakar se shabda nahi ye aaj 130 करोड़ देशवासियों के लिए मंत्र बन गया है भारत जैसे देश को अपने पैरों पर खड़ा होना अनिवार्य है आत्मनिर्भर बनना अनिवार्य है अब हमें मेक इन इंडिया के साथ साथ मेक फॉर वर्ल्ड ये मंत्र को लेकर के भी हमें आगे बढ़ना है दुनिया को भी उत्सुकता भी है भारत से अपेक्षा भी है और इसलिए हमें उस अपेक्षा को पूर्ण करने के लिए अपने आप को योग्य बनाना बहुत आवश्यक है हमें अपने आप को तैयार करना बहुत आवश्यक है हम देश में कब तक कच्चा माल विदेश भेजते रहेंगे रॉ मटेरियल कब तक दुनिया में भेजते रहेंगे और देखिए तो रॉ मटेरियल दुनिया में भेजना और फिनिश गुड को दुनिया से वापस लाना ये खेल कब तक चलेगा और इसलिए हमें आत्मनिर्भर बनना होगा आज आज भारत की मानसिकता होनी चाहिए वोकल फॉर लोकल हमारे जो स्थानीय उत्पाद है उसका हमने गौरवगान करना चाहिए इतनी आपदाओं के बीच ही सीमा पर भी देश के सामर्थ्य को चुनौती देने के दुष्प्रयास हुए लेकिन एलओसी से लेकर एलएसी तक देश की संप्रभुता पर जिस किसी ने आंख उठाई देश की सेना ने हमारे वीर जवानों ने उसका उसी की भाषा में जवाब दिया हमारे वीर जवान क्या कर सकते हैं देश क्या कर सकता है ये लद्दाख में दुनिया ने देख लिया है आतंकवाद हो या विस्तारवाद भारत आज डटकर मुकाबला कर रहा है आज दुनिया पर का भारत पर विश्वास और मजबूत हुआ है एक वर्ष पूर्व 370 से आजादी मिल चुकी है एक साल पूरा हो चुका है ये एक साल जम्मू कश्मीर के एक नई विकास यात्रा का बड़ा महत्वपूर्ण पड़ाव है जम्मू कश्मीर में डिलिमिटेशन की प्रक्रिया चल रही है सुप्रीम कोर्ट के निवृत्त न्यायमूर्ति के नेतृत्व में डिलिमिटेशन का काम चल रहा है और जल्दी से डिलिमिटेशन का काम पूरा होते ही भविष्य में वहां चुनाव हो जम्मू कश्मीर के एमएलए हो जम्मू कश्मीर के मंत्रीगण हो जम्मू कश्मीर के मुख्यमंत्रीगण हो नई ऊर्जा के साथ विकास के मार्ग पर आगे बढ़े लद्दाख को केंद्र शासित प्रयास प्रदेश बना करके बरसों पुरानी जो उनकी मांग थी उनकी आकांक्षा थी उस आकांक्षा को हमने पूर्ण करने का उनको सम्मानित करने का 
एक बहुत बड़ा काम किया है Shreya Dhondial is with us on the broadcast to give us more perspective on that story. Shreya, for you, uh, from that uh, more than hour-long speech of the Prime Minister, the key takeaways and the biggest takeaways. Uh, good afternoon to you, Anusha, and happy Independence Day to you and all our viewers. It was an hour and a half long, uh, all-encompassing speech, and I think the one thing that I took away from the speech, and I listened to it very carefully, you know, along with all our guests who were at the broadcast yeah. this morning with us. The one thing I took away was, you know, hope for the future. Twenty hmm. twenty has been a terrible year, Anusha. True. Every which way, True. we are fighting a pandemic. People are dying. People are getting infected every day. Our COVID numbers are rising. The one thing everyone wants to know is when will we have a vaccine? What the Prime Minister managed to do in in one and a half hours this morning is to hold out some hope in these terrible hmm. times. Hmm. He told India that look, there are three vaccines. that are under development they are in the last stages of trial right. and once the scientists give us the go ahead give us the green signal we will ensure that every citizen hmm. is inoculated every citizen is vaccinated hmm. because you know a lot of people can ask as and when the vaccine comes who will pay for it will the rich yeah. have access yeah. to it or yeah. will the poor have access to it as well hmm. so that is one hold I hope the prime minister is holding out hmm. now as far as you know as far as china is concerned hmm. there were a lot of people who were uh, talking about the fact before the speech began will the prime minister mention china hmm. look the fact is that this is this is a national celebration you know this is a day the country celebrates on a day like this on a day when the entire nation is celebrating do you go to the ramparts of the red fort and threaten your neighbor hmm. or do any amount of saber rattling you don't do it this is not the occasion for it hmm. uh, the prime minister i think didn't underplay the china threat it didn't he didn't overplay the china threat there was i thought there was no saber rattling hmm. but the message that needed to be conveyed has been conveyed and i think it has been conveyed effectively That's yes right. there is a problem at the lac as far as china is concerned hmm. yes the fact is that that problem has not been resolved in fact it is only deepening it is hmm. a good chance that 40000 soldiers will be spending the winter in eastern ladakh staying put guarding india's borders but today was the day to show india what the vision is going to be going to be for the next few years this is a particularly difficult time as yeah. i said yeah. to hold out any hope but the yeah. prime minister managed to convey some sense of hope for the days to come shreya uh, it's also heartening that he's talking about the possible resumption of the election process especially in the newly carved union territories of jammu and kashmir Uh, that is true because look if you know this this was an unprecedented independence day anusha if yeah. you look at it yeah. uh, you know i'm sure all of us have seen the pictures have you ever seen pictures like this every time you know at the red fort or uh, you know or, or at rajpath where Uh, when yeah. the republic day is celebrated you have humongous amounts of people who come in holding the flag color cheering everything on yes. this was a dignified state ceremony there were only 4000 guests the number of people have been cut down because of covid protocols everyone in the guard of honor as well had been quarantined they were released today hmm. so that you know at least the prime minister is safe normal activity you know there is yes there is you know an attempt to resume normal activity but holding elections of course holding elections is 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 important can we do it in times of covid what the prime minister is conveying is for the union territory of jammu and kashmir hmm. elections will be held i think that is a message that will be significantly re uh, received in jammu and kashmir yeah. uh, but of course the congress is the congress party has already sparked off a controversy with a series of tweets on that account all right shreya donny all putting all the developments into perspective and the prime minister spoke about a lot of things including uh, the ram mandir he stated that ram janmabhoomi issue has finally been resolved after decades and congratulated the citizens for maintaining peace and harmony in the nation. दस दिन पूर्व अयोध्या में भगवान राम के भव्य मंदिर का निर्माण शुरू हुआ राम जन्मभूमि के सदियों पुराने विषय का शांतिपूर्ण समाधान हो चुका है देश के लोगों ने जिस संयम के साथ और समझदारी के साथ आचरण किया है व्यवहार किया है अभूतपूर्व है और भविष्य के लिए हमारे लिए प्रेरणा का कारण है 